Hello everyone! Alright, so that's a new video and we continue to work on build of my Vans R-10 airplane. As normal as usual in this video I have no idea what I'm going to be doing, what I'm going to be working on. Lots of things to do and you know, uh, looking at this list, that's only the beginning for today, which is 22 lines only for today. Well, to be honest, for today and for this upcoming weekend and more to come. So, technically, um, just brief update about the alternator. I was able to get the correct pulley, but unfortunately um, the way how shaft is made and how pulley is made, anyway, it doesn't fit. So, it may be that I need different alternator, like same type cheap automotive alternator, just a little bit different type, we will see. But most likely I will do the first engine start with this alternator. No point of replacing it, it's gonna work and I don't think that couple of initial starts will harm it in any way and it will just break down. Anyway, so yeah, that's how it is now. Um, I plan to finish my buffling, make the side gussets, uh, basically paint all that and just call it done. Partially done because obviously yeah I need a hope holes for the um, for the rubber part but that will be added later. Why later? Because well before first engine start I don't think I'm gonna be putting a callings on and yeah so probably that rubber part can be added later. I don't think I need to trim anything. I will remeasure everything but I guess my, my, my measurements are okay I co are correct. I will have to add the oil door uh, for the top calling. Again, it's not absolutely need for the first engine start, which yeah, I want to do as soon as possible, but obviously after I'm done with all wiring and everything. Well, actually, why I want to do that, just to call it done and to continue with remaining work. And yeah, there will be some wiring and more and more work and uh, well, you will see what I do. Let's start.
от винта. Okay, ladies, today we do a fuel flow test. What is fuel flow test? We just want to see if our fuel pump and filter, and actually fuel pump, is capable of feeding the fuel from this canister into that little canister. We want to measure one gallon of fuel, we want to see one gallon of fuel, and how long time will it take. That's not a final test, it's just first initial test to see if my system works, okay? Later, yes. So, Maria, you will count the time. Elizabeth, you will watch the canister. Once we reach that black line, it means one gallon, we that's stop. That's we that's need to know... That's here we have that's a... That's that's a that's Isn't it going to go right... Yes, like yes, like, yes. Like that, over yes. that, and like yes. this. Yes, yes. Another question. And this is a few canister of the F gas. Well, I have to watch from there, like when it reaches the line. No, you have, you have just to listen to my comments. Start and stop. And I will watch there and here. Yeah. Okay. Would you? One. Two. Start. Keep it going. Должно. Оно вот здесь. Теперь топливо вот здесь. Yes, 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 yes. Скажи мне, когда линии достигнут. Достигнут уже. Мария, стоп. Минут 22 секунды. Wait. Так, одна минута. 22 секунды. Один галлон топлива. Я вижу, ровно один галлон топлива мы перетащили. Так. All right, ladies. So, we have one gallon of fuel from here to there in one minute and 22 minutes milliseconds okay so we can safely say that we feed our feed rate is about 60 gallons per minute oh per hour sorry you're right 60 gallons per hour the number i saw on my no the the number i saw on my office was 66 which is by 6 gallons, which is by 10% more. Okay, that's going to be adjusted. But our test show us that we were able to feed easily 60 gallons per one hour. Mm -hmm. Which is, sounds good for me for now. Well, this will work. Ladies, Hi. ladies, Hi. how are you doing? Amazing. Amazing? Mm. How do you like it? Amazingly. How do you like the seats? They're pretty good. Pretty good, eh? I want to be the pilot. You will be the pilot. Next time we fly, I'm the pilot. Okay, but from the right seat probably. But no, you definitely left. can. Okay. So how do you like all the lights and switches and everything? I really like this. It's so colorful. More than in a car. Elizabeth, pull it, pull it, pull it back. Pull it. Good. But no, just just the one you push in. This one was it too. No, this one. Okay, pull it out. Pull it out. Okay, keep it, keep it. I will, I will, I will do that later. Don't worry. Okay, so girls, how do you like the lights and everything in the airplane? The fuel tank has to be on the right, of course. Huh? We used the left no. fuel tank today already. Yeah. Daddy, so can the we left press D? Daddy, can we press D's up here? Yeah, yeah. The left tank is empty. Yes, you can. The left tank is empty from the <laughs> fuel, whatever it was called. Oh yeah, I turned the light on. But the right. But the right tank isn't empty yet.
All right, so what do we have so far is we have our prop installed. Alternator and belt are installed. Pulley will be this for a while for now, at least for first engine starts and tests because, well, I have some issues with the pulley anyway, which I will dis disclosure and tell later on. So now engine buffling is ready, but top buffle is not installed because, well, we don't need it so far for first engine start. Sensors, we have all sensors installed, so that's our AGTs. Those are fancy AGTs and those are our CHTs right there. I still have to do some little bit of nice wiring here, like to tie it all together, make a service loops. But so far it's all in. I'm still missing for my uh, AN4 fitting to connect my uh, vacuum the vacuum sensor to the map sensor and to the vacuum of the Lazar ignition. Uh, otherwise everything is connected. I have here my uh, air box which is also done. Well I had some issues with it. I mean I have to read more careful the uh, instructions. <laughs> but anyway it's so far it's good. It, it does the job so it's, it's, it, it will filter well. And we have on the bottom we have this is the I, I put on top of the fiberglass just in case a little bit of the of the sealant but otherwise yeah that's our door for the um, uh, alternate air just in case of emergency now we have here that's our part which I struggled a little bit with for the um, yeah for this arm to move freely here otherwise that's our two hoses one goes for the excessive fuel from the mechanical fuel pump drainage and this drainage is for the if we have some fuel here because here we're going to have excessive air pressure at all times right so it's going to be pushing out everything and any fuel any liquid which is here with the gravity plus push of the air will be just drawn out uh, Oil install it, that's install it, that's done. I'm still waiting for my ignition wires, which I don't have yet. It's coming. Again, here all my uh, sensors, AGTs, CHTs underneath are install it. Governor is install it and uh, adjusted. But again, until it's tested, I cannot say it works. Prop is in. Blades are still protected, just to avoid any accidents here. Yeah, and my daughter is helping me now to remove, to peel off some, uh, some stuff from the windows. Uh, just, well, because we want some more transparency in our windows. And yeah, first engine start is coming. And as you have seen already in this video, we have our uh, fuel check done. Alright, so this is the end of this video. Finally, this video, this episode is done and I'll start to work on it and after that I'll put it on YouTube, post it there and you will be able to see it. So far, we have wings, bottom skins fully completed and riveted. 
we have prop in place we have about maybe I would say 80% of the engine group ready for the first test in exception of uh, some sensors wires well just minor stuff but which is anyway critical right so in the next video I hopefully will start this engine not 100% but I will do my best to do that because that's actually a huge milestone for me to get the engine running and this beautiful prop spinning well let's hope I'm gonna succeed and you will witness that for now that's it that's all guys have fun and I'm going to Abbotsford air show otherwise have a good one and bye